Hey, yo, Belinda, are you a dog lover? Well, then you're not going to want to miss this episode. So on this week's small business interview, I'm going to be talking all about German Shepherd Rescue of Orange County. So it's going to be broken into two parts. So first, I'm going to do a quick two minute tour of one of their adoption events held at PetSmart in your Belinda, so you can get a better idea of what to expect if you go to one of these events trying to adopt a dog. And then second, I'm going to be sitting down with Maria, the founder of this organization, and we're going to be going over a bunch of different things from how the organization started Started, how it's grown, how you can go about adopting dogs, and more importantly, how you can go about getting involved as a volunteer to help this great organization thrive. Let's go ahead and get into this week's small business interview. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to the German Shepherd Rescue of Orange County Adoption Event at the Yorba Linda Pet Smart. We have so many fabulous dogs out here today. They're so excited, they're cheering. Uh, wanted to invite you to come out to our bake sale. Uh, we have merchandise, we have our mascot here. We're just here for lots of fun and give you an opportunity to meet the dogs and learn more about how you can get involved. Uh, we always need foster homes, we always need adoptive homes, and there are lots and lots of opportunities to volunteer, so please consider it. Visit us at gsroc.org, gsroc.org, and then come on out and meet some of our wonderful dogs. Hi everyone, my name is Jim Taylor and I'm a volunteer with the German Shepherd Rescue of Orange County. I've been a volunteer now for 12 years. Uh, I adopted my first shepherd 12 years ago, and this is Kira. And she is also from the German Shepherd Rescue of Orange County, and I adopted her two years ago. And I love working with the organization because, as you can see, everybody is very committed to saving these dogs and promoting this breed. So if you can help out by making donations to the German Shepherd Rescue of Orange County, we would certainly appreciate it. Okay, so now that you have a better understanding of what the adoption events look like, let's go ahead and get into the interview. So everybody, I wanna go ahead and welcome Maria today for German Shepherd Rescue of Orange County. Maria, thank you for joining me today to talk about your organization. So let's go ahead and start out just a little bit about yourself. So we're here in your Belinda. This is kind of your main office right now. Sure. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself first and then we'll kind of go over the organization that you've helped create. Sure, absolutely. So I was a marketing professional all okay. my life and also an animal lover big time from childhood. And I always knew I wanted to do something involved with dogs in particular, but I didn't know what it was. And, you know, this organization started out kind of as a hobby, of okay. course. I yep. wanted a stress reliever and I wanted to go out on weekends and pet dogs and <laughs> had a high yep. pressure job, yep. you know. It's a good so, way to relax, yep. So little by little, I learned more and more about how great the need was, especially for marketing and PR. Mm -hmm. So... I kept looking around for a leader and I kept thinking someone should do this, someone should do that. And finally I thought, mm, I guess it's going to be me. There so, you go. That's a lot of great yeah. small businesses have started. Yep. So. so we started in approximately 1998 informally. Okay. We were just a one woman, one dog kind of a thing. And we were sort of an offshoot of a, a Los Angeles based rescue for okay. German Shepherds especially. Mm -hmm. And um, I would drive all the way up to Los Angeles every Saturday and bring a dog down to the Yorba Linda <laughs> PetSmart because being in marketing, I knew that you have to bring the product to the market. So um, little by little, we grew and grew and grew. And some weekends, I'd have to drive the dog all the way back to Burbank oh, wow. because it didn't get adopted. Yep. And other weekends, we were successful. So Okay. Started recruiting volunteers. Usually they were adopters, and I'd say, hey, you love the breed. Would you like to get more involved? So it grew. Gotcha. So what made you, out of all the different dog breeds, what made you start looking at German Shepherds specifically? Well, I'd, I'd had a German Shepherd, but I okay. started out as a Labrador girl okay. with my first um, loves. Okay. But German Shepherds are really misunderstood, and mm -hmm. they're greatly overpopulated, so you see a lot of them in shelters. Okay. A lot of people get them for the wrong reasons, or they don't understand the breed, so the dogs end up on the wrong end of that deal. Gotcha. So the need, I think, and understanding, I just okay. had a, a good grip on what it took to be a good German Shepherd caregiver. Okay, and can we dive maybe a little bit deeper into that, too, so people watching can understand? Sure. So, before someone does get a German Shepherd, what are some of the things that they should know before going through that process? Great question. <laughs> of course, do your homework. And that means 
learning about the breed, not just hearing that they're great dogs or thinking that they're beautiful dogs or that they're smart dogs. We get a lot of people who email us and say, oh, I heard they're really smart and they, they're so trainable so easily, and yet the people don't want to invest the effort in the training. Yeah. So I would say um, you need to be a fairly active individual with some physical strength if you're looking at a young German Shepherd. Okay. They're active dogs. They're working dogs. They grew up, they were raised for herding sheep. So if you're not athletic and you're not active, maybe consider a senior dog if you're okay. going to get a Shepherd. Um, they have to have exercise and they have to have leadership. Um, German Shepherds are so smart that if they sense there's no leadership in the home, they'll sort of take over and try to lead themselves. So I also think that um, a lot of people don't realize they cost a lot. They eat a lot. Um, <laughs> they're big dogs. They're yeah. big dog. They shed a lot. We call them German shedders affectionately. Yeah. And um, if you're not prepared to have an indoor family member, you probably shouldn't get one. They don't do well as outdoor dogs despite all the... Uh, all the myths yeah. um, they're very family oriented and they need physically and emotionally need to be close to their people gotcha and I'm sure just for in California as well with their thick coats probably not the greatest to be living outside no and out. you know just it's just not good for them emotionally and yeah. psych psychologically because okay. think about it they were bred to be with one person a yeah. shepherd and to be loyal and uh, yep. it's just it's not a good breed if you're going to want an outdoor dog you really need to look at a different breed but of okay. course we don't really yeah. <laughs> recommend outdoor dogs in general we yeah. want them to be family yep. members yeah as do I it's I mean we've always had a dog growing up I have a dog right now I have a husky so shedding I know about yes. high energy I know about Keeps so you it busy. sounds like they have a lot in common yep. Um, so now that your organization has been growing over the years, how many dogs do you tend to take in at a time right now? Well, at any given time, now don't forget, we're, we're what's 15, 16 years old. We formalized in 2005 when I realized, oh, oh it's going to be an enterprise. It's not just a hobby yep. anymore. So we incorporated in 2005. So over the years, on average, we have about 90 dogs wow. at a time in our care. Okay. Uh, they come from... 50% come from sh directly from shelters okay. that reach out to us. And believe me, the shelters are loaded with shepherds right now. The other 50% come either from owners who directly surrender them to us or people who have passed away or, you know, some sort of a um, urgent situation where we can step in and help. Okay. And so you obviously can't keep all those 90 dogs in one location. So right. you have foster families as right. well, which often a lot of organizations do. So um, if someone wanted to come in, volunteer, be a foster family for one of these dogs, what's the process to that kind of That's, look like? We need fosters desperately. We okay. need fosters desperately. <laughs> um, it's really rewarding. And German Shepherd Rescue pays for all of the vet care costs approved and the food, treats, toys. So we're a full service support okay. for the fosters. Um, we have a form online where you fill out the foster application and then we're going to talk you through it. We're going to probably do a home visit and make sure that it's safe and secure and point out any hazards or possible escape routes or something yeah. like that. Um, fostering is very, very rewarding, as I said. Sometimes you get attached and then you yeah. become what we call a foster <laughs> failure, which is really not a failure at all. Um, but there's no obligation. We just particularly need foster families for senior dogs. Okay and puppies gotcha. so neither okay. of those do well in a kennel boarding yeah. situation okay and so typically i mean is there an average of how long these dogs tend to be in foster for when they That's go through that very good question it depends on their age okay so all our adoptions tend to depend on the dog's age as you might imagine senior dogs disabled dogs dogs with a uh, some sort of a challenge take a little longer to place whereas right. the yeah. hail hardy happy, well-trained, young dogs tend to fly right out. Um, puppies, they need to stay in their foster until they've had several sets of shots and mm -hmm. all that good stuff. But if you're looking for a short-term foster, probably a younger dog. If you're looking for a, a long-term foster that you can maybe invest and help along the journey, uh, maybe a little bit older dog. Okay. And do you provide any kind of like training for, for of course. We, with the foster parents yes. and the dogs as well? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. We know we're not going to throw you right in the yeah. deep end. But 
yeah, we have a good foster network and they're very supportive of one another. In fact, they have their own little chats that they discuss things with. And um, we encourage the fosters to bring their dogs out to the events on the weekends. In fact, we started our events in your Belinda at the PetSmart okay. many, many, <laughs> many moons ago. And we still go to that PetSmart to this wow. day. Okay. So they've been great allies to us. Okay, so... And speaking of events then, so kind of when you have these events, um, I'm guessing there's like pet stores you're having on mm -hmm. mostly. Right. Um, if people want to go and check out these dogs in person, what's the best way for them to find the different events going on? Sure. And that's not just in your Belinda, but it's throughout Orange County. Correct. Right? Okay. And sometimes a little bit into part of um, Riverside as well. Okay. Um, well, we have an excellent website. I'm very proud of it. It's uh, gsroc.org, that okay. stands for German Shepherd Rescue Orange County.org. They can see a variety of dogs there. They can see the opportunities there. And if you click on events, you can see when we'll be in your area. We're kind of nomadic. Okay. <laughs> we <laughs> we kind of go to different pet retailers. PetSmart's a good ally, Sentinella Feed. We yep. go to Chrysler's here locally. Um, lots of the smaller retailers as well. So. Okay. Yeah, we were talking before uh, getting on camera that I used to be a manager at Sentinel Feed. Yeah. One of the one of the nice events that we had that I like going to because I get to go to work and then see a bunch of dogs yeah. hanging out too. And then watching getting adopted is obviously right. very rewarding too, just seeing that on my it side is. of things. So if people do want to adopt dogs, what is the process they have to go through with your organization? Uh, okay, good question. As I mentioned, a lot of dogs end up homeless because people didn't do the research or they chose yep. the wrong breed. That's very common. You didn't learn about what a shepherd is yep. before you got one. Um, so we do have a screening process. We want to yep. make sure that people are committed, that they understand what they're getting into, that they have the, the time, the skills, the environment that okay. suits a German Shepherd. So yeah. we do do a, either a virtual home visit by video or an in-person home visit. Okay. So again, we're pointing out any potential areas. We want you to be a success, not a failure. Yeah. And then um, you can apply online. You'll be assigned to an adoption counselor who will really get to know what you're looking for. Let's say you have kids. You need mm -hmm. a kid-friendly dog. Let's say you have a cat. You have a cat-friendly You need yeah. a cat-friendly dog. Yep. Not too many shepherds are <laughs> keen on cats, yeah. but some are. Occasionally, So yeah. um, we've had applicants that have livestock. You know, we have to be careful that we don't place a dog that's going to, you know, bother the livestock. Yeah. Um, you know, just we match you. I think we're kind of like you know, bachelorette, yeah. bachelor <laughs> yep. show or something. We have to match the family with the right dog. Otherwise, it's not a success. I'm a big believer in quality over quantity. I don't yeah. like those throw them out the door kind yeah. of approaches. Because they're just going to be back anyway. It's, it's not good yeah. for the yeah. person or for the dog. Gotcha. So. Okay. So if they go, so if someone shows up to one of these events, they see a dog they like, it's still, they need to go through the process, make sure that dog is going to fit with them, right. fit with their family to decide, make right. sure. We don't want you to fall in love and then yeah. find out, oh, he's bitten three children yeah. and you have a <laughs> yeah. daycare at your home yeah, or something. Yeah, that makes sense. So, um, no, you know, it's best to apply in advance, even if you don't know who you're interested in yet, because okay. then we can recommend. But it's equally fun to go to an event yeah. and just meet the dogs and okay. uh that's at the events it's just a representation of the dogs we yeah. can't possibly bring them all out but, <laughs> 90 uh, dogs in one parking yeah lot would probably i don't be a little think crazy. that would <laughs> go over very well yeah so you know it's it's good to get familiar with the breed um we have a lot of books we can recommend to okay. people not just the uh, german shepherds for dummies or anything <laughs> but really true books that tell you about their behavior and their nature you know okay Okay, got it. And then if anybody wants to get involved with your organization, so I'm sure you probably are looking for volunteers. Always. Um, so besides the foster side of things, what are the things other people can volunteer for if they great, can't foster? For great question. Reason? Walking dogs. If you're okay. in the Yorba Linda area yeah. and you're in fairly good physical shape, you don't have to be a runner. You don't have to be an athlete. But if you're in pretty good shape... We always need walkers here at, at the Kennel in Yorba Linda. Okay. We always need bathers on weekends. We spiff up our dogs when they go to the events on the weekends, so we need bathers. We also need fundraisers. That's okay. a biggie for us. It's yeah. been a tough couple of years for all small businesses, yeah. including charities. Yeah. So uh, if you're good at soliciting donations, funds, items for the dogs, we need those people. Okay. And a really fun thing we have, uh, believe it or not, 
uh, bake sales are good fundraisers for us too. Oh, okay. So if you're a baker or uh, someone that enjoys, uh, you know, doing crafts, things like that, anything that can help us raise funds for the dog, we have an interest in you. Gotcha. So it sounds like there's multiple two ways to be able to get involved. There in is. There is. Depends on you know what level of yeah. uh, activity you want physically and time wise. Okay. Uh, and then kind of last on that same type type of question on there. So if someone wanted to be able to donate directly because they love what you do, maybe they don't have the time to be able to donate their own time, but want to donate funds instead, what's the best way for them to do that? That's a great question too. You've got this down, Josh. <laughs> um, well, again, our, our website is quite um, user friendly. It's okay. gsroc.org. Okay. And in addition to seeing the dogs, you'll see options for donating, um, PayPal, we take uh, Stripe, we take uh, Venmo, different things like that. Another really great way to support the dogs if you don't have the time to invest, we have a program called our Shepicurian Club, and that means you can donate once a month to support their uh, dietary needs. Okay. So you can just do an auto uh, donation okay, once specifically a month. Okay. for dogs with special diets, dogs on probiotics, uh, joint medication, and so on. So, Okay. So you've got the website. Uh, do you have any social media accounts as well? We do. Okay. Our Facebook page is German Shepherd okay. Rescue of Orange County, spelled out like that. And it's very active. You'll see posts of the dogs that are available. You'll see happy endings of dogs that recently got placed. You'll see needs. Um, right now we're in a voting contest. So whatever activity we're doing, uh, will be posted there on the social media. We're also on Instagram. Okay, and I'll make sure that I include all those links below. So if you're watching this on YouTube, check out the description below. Anywhere else you can find it in the bio as well. So it will be there for you to check out not only their website, but all the different social media channels. So if you want to be able to follow them, you can do that and get involved any way you want. So I think that's pretty much all the questions I have for you today. Was there anything else you wanted to leave the viewers with um, before we go? I thought of another huge need we have yes. in the volunteer category, TikTok. I'm TikTok, not a okay. <laughs> I'm not a TikToker. Gotcha. <laughs> we could really use someone with skills in that area. Okay. We know that that's a very popular yep. medium. Yep. And our dogs would be superstars. Yes, they if would. If we had somebody <laughs> that could um, help us in that arena, that would be really great as okay. well. But we would be grateful for any help that people want to extend. As I said, we're I think we're I don't know I think we're 20 years old now or something, yeah. and we have avenues for people of all ages and all strengths and uh, we're always okay. looking for help with the dogs gotcha and if like high school students are they able to volunteer to get hours as well they are they're okay. not allowed to walk the dogs okay. due to insurance reasons yep. but there are activities that high school students eagle scouts we get a lot of support okay. from eagle scouts girl scout troops get involved with our baking gotcha. um, <laughs> yep. we've had girl scout troops draw um, note cards before to oh, okay. give to our major donors we have a full thank you note writing team. So there's there's something for everyone. Okay. It sounds much. like, yeah, any way you want to get involved, there's something you can do there. Yeah, I hope you'll come to our event and yeah, see absolutely. some of our yeah. dogs. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll definitely come to one of the events, check it out. We'll probably put it on this episode as well so you can see that um, and see what's going on. So that's pretty much all we have then. So thank you for your time today. Thank, thank you, you for telling me about the organization. Um, I think it's going to be one that you guys can get involved with in almost any way you want to, whether it's time you could donate or money you can donate. There's always ways to be able to get involved. So hope you're able to explore and check out German Shepherd Rescue of Orange County a little bit more. And until next week, stay healthy, stay happy, and we'll see you on next week's show. Bye. <laughs>